Philippians, the third chapter, the tenth verse. It says that I may know him and the power of his resurrection. And the fellowship of his suffering. Being conformable unto his death. If by any means I might obtain unto the resurrection of the dead. Not as though I have already obtained either. Already perfect. But I follow after. If that I may apprehend, that for which also I am apprehended of Christ Jesus. 13. Brother, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching for until those things which are before. Watch 14. Watch 14. I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Praise the name of God. Don't forget to fellowship. Don't forget to fellowship. Don't forget to fellowship. You may be seated. Fellowship is very important. And there's a reason we fellowship. Um, last week, I thought that we had a real good time in church and out of church. We went across the street and we shall fellowship with the basketball league and very nice. Everything was real nice. And here at Grand Hill we do a, a lot of fellowship and people know that for the ones that are that that are part of it. Uh, you wouldn't know that we do a lot of fellowship and if you're not here or if you're not connected. But if you're connected, then you know that there's always something going on. Not just in the church, but outside of these four walls. Because it's very crucial that um, we not only just worship in the four walls, but then we fellowship after we leave. Because that is where the gospel is going to be spread. You know, sometimes we take for granted that the people that are in the church automatically know the gospel. And it's not always true. Some people are just being introduced to the gospel. Some people are just being introduced to God, to Christ. You know? And then there are others that are seasoned in the Lord. But either way, fellowship is important. Paul wrote that he might know God in the power of his resurrection. But listen to what he says. And in the fellowship of his suffering. Ooh. Ooh. We don't mind knowing him in the power of his resurrection. Uh, but he said in the fellowship of his suffering. So so it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't uh uh most people want to, we, we, we'll skip that part. But it is a good thing that we realize that 
Knowing him in the fellowship of his suffering also means that we know that he actually suffered for us. And everything that he suffered for us, that when it comes to our life, and we might have to go through some of those things, we not only know that Christ has already suffered for us, but he has already overcame. Y'all didn't hear me. He has already overcame whatever we're going through. So then our trust must be in him. Yeah. But, but, but Jesus has already suffered. But it said in the fellowship of suffering, Praise the name of God. And, and, and we come honestly to church, not just to worship, but we ought to come to what? Fellowship. See, this is where it gets difficult at. Because we think we have to like everybody to fellowship. We think we have to agree with everybody to fellowship. But to learn how to fellowship in Jesus by the suffering of him, then you become the embodiment of Jesus. Which means Jesus learned how to look all the people folks and see their needs. See, what we do, we stop sometimes at people folks. And the only reason we stop at people's fault is because we don't look in the mirror. And sometimes we think they are the ones, and sometimes it is us. Because if you're going to have the fellowship of suffering with Christ, then I am telling you, Christ looked over people's fault. I mean, watch what, what he also did. He allowed people because he had to humble himself. I need you to understand that everybody that's humble is not weak. Don't get it twisted. Just because it seems like I don't say anything, I'm, I'm, I'm just not ignorant enough to get caught up in your ignorant argument. If you want to go there, guess what? Go there by yourself. I got a niece say, you be mad by yourself. <laughs> I mean, because this is a part of fellowship. Fellowship is. Now, now um, in the Bible, it talks about being common and having something in common. And see, that's what we look at and say, we fellowship because we have something in common. You know, the Bible says, how, how do we walk together? Unless what? We agree. So in some cases, we have to be in agreement, but you will find yourself in this world uh, really not doing everything or not or, or tapping into your potential uh, just because you won't do something because you don't agree. Because we have not learned how to look at the greater good. See? Because if, if it's all about doing something because you agree with somebody and it's all about doing something uh, it, a lot of times I find out we won't do it when we're not in charge. Somebody say, say that again. <laughs> or we won't do it when we can't make the calls. See, I'm liking the people that I see in church that fellowship behind the scenes. Yeah, because that's usually the way the work being done. Is behind. Not, not, not the one 
some that want the glory. Because some people want the glory. And as long as you take the glory, guess what? God doesn't have the glory. And the Bible says the glory is what? His. So in everything we do, we should do it to the glory what? It should be to his glory. To God be the glory. Praise the name of God. If, if, if you come to church and say you didn't have a good time, guess why? Because you didn't bring a good time. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I mean, you, I mean I'm serious. I mean, if, listen, you come in with, with it in your heart, in your mind, Joanne has said, not just praises on your lips, but you got to have something on the inside. In your heart. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, you, listen, you have to understand that uh, even the songs we sing, praise the name of God, some people get caught up into the beat and other people get caught up into the lyrics. I like them both. I don't argue with them. I like them. Because if they sing something that's talking to God for me, I mean it. I mean it. And I can look, I can I can get past the offbeat sometimes. You know what I'm saying? I can get past that. Because I'm listening. Because now we're singing because we are fellowshipping with him. See, I come to fellowship with him. And as I begin to fellowship with him, guess what? I get closer to him that I see less of what's going on in here. Praise the name of God. I don't need to get caught up in facial expressions. Uh, I look, I read lips. Praise the name of God. That's why, I can't tell what some of y'all say now. <laughs> y'all been throwing me off for the last year or so with these masses on. Mm. Well, I changed the subject in a minute just because I heard you. It's just like I hear you. I can see you back there when you... Now, you know he shouldn't have said that. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, I should. <laughs> Y'all hiding now. Take your mask down. Let's, let's talk about that. Let's fellowship. Let's fellowship. <laughs> Praise the name of God. He said, but in the power of his resurrection and in the fellowship of his suffering. In other words, what he said now, now what I need you to understand that as we continue to come and fellowship, there's a reason that we are fellowshipping. And the reason we are fellowshipping, and it should be, that iron sharpens iron. The reason that we fellowship is that we build one another. We don't come together to fellowship to talk about each other. We don't come to, and look, if you're going to talk, then help. If you're not going to help, don't talk. If you come, then you come to build someone. You come to encourage someone. You come that they might learn how to fellowship with God. No, not like you fellowship with God, because everybody don't fellowship with God the same way. Some people want to clap their hands. Some people want to pat their feet. Some people want to sing. Some people want to pray. Some people want to wave their hands. Some people want to sit down with their arms crossed. But that's all right if that's how they fellowship. See? Because God wants us to come in, praise the name of God, and allow him to be the main reason. Not just for Christmas. Because we'll say Jesus is the reason. For the season. He, God is the reason all the time. God is the reason that we got up this morning. That's all the time. That's just not on the 25th. That's just Tuesday that's coming. If we get up. Praise the name of God. And we should start our fellowship with him on a day-to-day -day basis. Not just here. Yeah. On a day-to-day -day basis. Have fellowship. Yeah. Praise the name of God. Talk to him. Yeah. Listen 
him to him. Speak to him. Let him speak to you. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah. And, and, and Paul started with the power of his resurrection, but he said ending the fellowship of his suffering because he realized that what he was looking for and the same thing that we're looking for is that we all need a Savior. Yeah. Yeah. We need a Savior now. Yeah. Well, because guess what? If we could save ourselves, we would have already done it. Yeah. Somebody said, well, I am. You ain't did it yourself. You know? But the Bible says we are like filthy what? Rags. Yes. You understand? What, what are the wages of sin? Death. Yeah. Right? That's the payment for sin. Yeah. If anybody said they don't sin, they sin in it. Because yeah. <laughs> it's a lie. You might not get caught. There are plenty of people in jail that's innocent. And there's, there are plenty of people out of jail that's guilty. I mean, I won't bother you, but that's the truth. Hallelujah. Play. You know, and, 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 and it's amazing because it's how we fellowship with people, even based on something like that. If you look at somebody and you see where they are, pray the name, you don't want to fellowship with them. You know, and I, I'm here to tell you, in the world today, it is becoming a little bit more challenging. I realize that even in doing ministry, that, and listen, let's not overlook this thing. We have some mental issues that are on an all-time high right now. Going out and doing ministry work is not the same as my grandmama now. I mean, people are dealing with things. And, and I have to, I was talking to a couple, I mean, even going to try to help someone, you really have to realize where they are. You understand? But God still wants us to try our best to fellowship. To fellowship. To help one another. To build one another. Praise the name of God. And once we do that, hallelujah. Uh, Paul said, listen, I need you to understand that I realize that our fellowship in it, and we coming together, um, he talking to the different churches, and they had problems in Corinth, they had problems in Ephesus, they had problems with the Galatians, all the letters that he wrote, there was some kind of problems going on in the church, and even some people still had problems with Paul. Because no matter that we call him Paul and we call him Apostle and we call him the one that was uh, circumcised on the eighth day born of the tribe of Benjamin. We, we say all of that and we know who he is, but they still look at him as Saul, some of them. Praise the name of God. But, but, but now Paul is saying, in my fellowship with Christ, uh, praise the name, in my fellowship with him, I, I, am, I am learning that uh, I have not obtained everything that I'm looking for in God. In other words, I, I know that I have some issues. Uh, and, and I know that even the things that I'm trying to do better, uh, hallelujah, uh, somebody will always bring up my past. Uh, or somebody will always put in my face when you wasn't all that. Oh, praise the name of God. Uh, but I like that song. It says, uh, I, that he saw the best in me <laughs> when everybody else saw the worst in me. <laughs> I came out to tell you, when you start fellowshipping with God, uh, then you start seeing the best in people uh, instead of seeing the worst. Uh, I'm not saying that you're blindsided, uh, but I'm here to tell you, you see the best in people huh? and instead of, of seeing the worst huh? because there's enough people in this world huh? that gonna bring up the stuff that you didn't accomplish huh? there's enough people enough in this world huh? that will bring up what you should have did huh? where you should have went huh? what you should have said huh? there's enough people in this world huh? that will bring up your failures huh? pray in the name of God huh? 
Uh, and listen, I need you to understand that I'm not uh, trying to stray away from being accountable. Uh, but every now and then, you better surround yourself with some people uh, that fellowship with you, uh, that knows your potential, uh, and knows that you can do whatever God uh, has put in your mind for you to do. Uh, hallelujah. You need to hang around folk uh, that going to build you up and going to help you. Uh, praise the name of God. Whatever vision God give you. Uh, hallelujah. I'm telling you, God don't give you a vision uh, without giving you provision. I uh, uh, praise the name of God. Uh, and I realize that in the spiritual sense. Uh, hallelujah. Because uh, I looked at a natural eagle. Uh, and an eagle can fly higher than any bird. Uh, and an eagle can see further. Uh, that's why they called Isaiah the eagle eye prophet. I uh, praise the name of God. Uh, but when that bird gets up there, that eagle looks down. Hallelujah. Something man can see. That eagle's able to see. Hallelujah. When he looks down, he see a little rabbit over in the brush. And every now and then, the eagle swoops down and come back up. Hallelujah. The rabbit moves a little bit. Hallelujah. But now the eagle got within its vision. When it swoops down, and picks up the rabbit. The rabbit just became provision. And I came by to tell you, when God gives us visions, you need to have somebody around you that can be provision. I pray the name of God. He don't give you vision without provision. I pray the name of God. That's why the Bible says, though the vision tarry, Wait on it. Hallelujah. For it shall come to pass. It says, They that wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. What you gonna mount up at? You gonna mount up as wings of an eagle. I'll pray the name of God. That's because we are fellowshipping with God. Watch what Paul says. Paul says, I know you're going to bring up all of you. And I'm not telling y'all just because I wrote these letters and just because God has anointed me that I got it all together. I have not obtained everything. But I came by to tell you ain't no need for you to be bringing up everything where I was. Everything I did. All of my fears because I'm forgetting those things that are behind me. And I press for the mark, not just of any calling, but I press for the mark of the high calling. You can put any kind of title on anybody. Hallelujah. But that ain't the title that we looking for. I'm trying to fellowship with him. You're trying to fellowship with him. Why? So that at the end of the day, when our time comes, he can glow. When I stick the sword in the sand at the Jordan River, I want to hear him say that you fellowship with me enough. Well done, well done, well done, well done. I don't care what anybody else say. We just need him to say, well done, well done, my good and faithful. Hallelujah. It was not just my faithfulness, but it was God's faithfulness. It was not just my righteousness, but it was God's righteousness. I pray in the name of God. Fellowship till you can't fellowship no more. Wake up in the morning. Fellowship. Noonday hour. Fellowship. Late at night. Fellowship. Y'all ain't hear me. When you're full. Fellowship. When you're homeless. Fellowship. When you're depressed. Fellowship. When you're happy. Fellowship. When 